first impression so far off of episode one alone. I mean, I gave you a two hour reaction to that first episode. So what does that say? I think that the show is extremely immersive. I think that they're already showing us so much about the potential of the shows and dropping a little lore here and there, but nothing's enough for me to really get a full understanding, and I love it. It's the whole show don't tell perspective of lore eh, narration, and I absolutely love it. What's going on right now? We're a regressor. Every time we die, we spot in front of the Appa guy. Why do we have the regression powers? Most likely due to some sort of promise or some sort of wish that was fulfilled upon having that desire of saving Emilia during the first time that they died in that hut. I'm gonna just assume that the Witch of Envy is the person that gave us the regression powers shown through the imagery of the purple hand that we threw in the openings as well. What else happens? Right now, we're in a predicament where we cannot progress through the game because Elsa is holding us down. Even the last episode near the end or second iteration, it did not work. She's just too damn powerful, but this time Emilia wasn't there. And after we died, and you would think that by the second iteration of the regression that he'd figure it out? Nah. He's still so stupid. Maybe he's in shock, sure. But you would think by the second iteration he figured it out. He goes to Emilia and calls her a slur. Not a slur, but the name of a taboo name, right? Satala. And this time, because she didn't tell us to call it, she's like, a random person shows up in the streets and calls me a slur. What the fuck? This run is already ruined. I'm gonna treat each iteration of regressions like a speed run, and this time, it's absolutely ruined. We gotta just end ourselves right now. What other stuff is going on, really, besides, besides that? Well, we know that the existence of an insignia, right? We know that other people are trying to get a hold of that insignia. And looking at the Annie's cut content, as well as some openings and endings, it seems like she is living in a mansion. So she's quote-unquote broke, but I guess she has, like, supports of different factions. But, like, those factions are yet to be explained just yet. But I'm sure we'll get there after we deal with this shit. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh boy. We fucked up, man. She got the insignia. And remember, Witch of Envy. Seven Deadly Sins. Subaru is prideful. <laughs> and Inus went out of his way to say he has so much pride over and over again. Seven Deadly Sins, let's keep that theme in mind. <laughs> You did! Ooh. Technically, you said it! You, you, that's what you said, but not in this run, right? Not in this run. Damn. We're cooked, man. We're so cooked, man. Oh, she hasn't stolen it yet this round. And this is the opportunity. Got it. Yoink! Got him. Oh, this is beyond ruined. This is beyond ruined. She thinks that we're working with it. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm jumping off a fucking roof after that, bro. It's so over, dude. Amelia hates us. Bro, you're looking pathetic right now. Hey, we're gonna meet the bandits again? Bandits. You were summoned to this world because at the same time as being summoned, remember beginning of the end, end of the beginning, he was already making a, a wish, a desire, claiming that he will save a million no matter what, and then Isekai'd. So the whole thing is to protect Amelia is, I'm assuming. <laughs> This is round three, right? <laughs> round three. He still thinks that he's captured them. Huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah, no, you know what? You know what? Perfect. Perfect. This is great. This run was a generational fucking failure of a run. This speed run has been over since the moment it began. You know what? Thank you, Bandit. We'll take it. Goodbye. <laughs> Take the potato chips. Take the cell phone. If he doesn't realize by the third iterations, he's got to be the dumbest motherfucker, right? But I have faith. This time he's making the connection with the potato chips that Rome G ate. But it's there. And now if you spawn back and you're alive with the potato chips in your hands, surely this is a... Oh, 
too. The, the fucking death sounds are so weird. It's it's just like this children choir. <laughs> And we're back. Uh, what's up, bro? What is this? Our fourth run right now? True. True. Yeah. You got everything still. No stab wound. Meaning? What does this mean? Yeah, okay, Zoro. Really? This guy really saying Zoro's line right now? When he fought against a Mihawk for the first time, I can respect it. All right. Regression, right? Here we go. What? RBD. Turn by the. This dude thinks we're fucking crazy right now. He's staring at this dude, just like muttering to himself in the fucking streets. And what the fuck, you these? These broke asses really are going crazy. Fourth iteration. Don't call her Satella, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact with random strangers on the streets, man. <laughs> yeah, I feel it. I mean, if I saw a crazy dude just talking to himself, yeah, I'd, I'd be like that. Dude, like, leave me alone, bro. Now, return by death is an actual mechanic we have in the show now. Return by death, every time he dies, he goes back to a checkpoint. But, but, do you think that there's like a, some sort of, uh, what's it called? Limit? Like, what happens if we think that this is just unlimited? And like we try it, it's just like no more return by death. Well, that's impossible. Because then the show can't continue because the main character Subaru is dead. So I'm just going to go out on a limb and just say, this shit for now, until they define a specific threshold, we can abuse it. Like, regarding the limit of it, I don't think until like the straight up end of ReZero that they would ever announce like a limit. Because, like, once you announce a limit, then it gets really good. Like, for example, I think, like, Summertime Rendering is a perfect example of, yeah, you can regress, but, like, every time you do, it's a little bit further ahead every time, you know? And at a certain point, there's no longer regression possible. You know what I mean? Having that sort of limitation made it really unique because now it's just, like, every run counts. You cannot fuck it up, and every run, you need to make sure that you got the most out of it. Right now, we're just abusing the shit out of it. It's fine. But I wonder if they ever introduce, like, okay, you have, like, 10 more left. Then it's, like, what would happen, right? Yeah. <laughs> Supposed to be Subaru and Amelia with a kid. Just remember, there was nothing romantic about this, and she thought that he was basically her brother, and he got, like, sun zoned there. Oh no! Not the tomato imagery! She gonna die, bro, if you don't do something about it. Yeah. Yeah, and everyone's gonna die again, unless you stop it. No, I think that's a totally fair motivation. I think he's still kind of like self-inserting himself to like help out Amelia when... I don't think she really needs that kind of help. I think he's still delusional in the way that he just like sees her, but still makes sense. And like, what if he didn't help? Because like my assumption is like if, with any regression show, you need to re get, get through some kind of checkpoint, right? And if we beat Elsa here, a new checkpoint will be made instead of Apagai. But what if we straight up said, fuck it? What if we are like, they can all die. I'm going to go negotiate and sell my Meteor for a lot of holy coins. Then I'm going to live out my own life here. Just like slice of life, chilling in another world, bro. Fuck it. Why do I need to go save their asses? I'm going to live my own life in this world. And, and then what would happen? Uh, I don't know. Hello, Appa guy. You're still going to answer. They? Amelia. 
Emilia fought. Give me the potato chips. Whoa! Someone just as broke as you helped my daughter after she got lost earlier. Uncanny Valley. The things that we did before, that we didn't do in this timeline, got fulfilled even without Subaru having to do it. Is that an important mechanic? Where events that... It's like a script, and even if you kind of deviate from the script, something else will fill that, even if you didn't do it. I wonder if this is important, or just random. Hmm. Will he? Alright, Appa guy. That's right, Emilia. You can't call her Satala, bro. And he doesn't even know her name is Amelia, right? Yeah, that of course we know, but like, he still thinks it's just Satala or nothing else. And here we go. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for the fucking street thugs again? This time, how is he gonna solve it? The same lines, man. <laughs> Larry Mo <Moe> Curly? <laughs> that ain't my name. <laughs> Actually smart. Actually smart. I'm like, what are you doing? Are you about to do a breathing attack? Some kind of martial key attack? No. Call the cops. Fuck it. That's right. We're getting robbed. <laughs> He's using his Amelia voice again. <laughs> Touch? Touch? Are the cops coming? They're not coming. Just a bit. No one's coming, bro. No! Behind! <gasps> My hero! It's him. It's him. It's him. Oh, dude. I just got flashbacks of One Piece. As soon as he says red hair, I was like, Okagami Shanks! Because like every time Shanks shows up in One Piece, they're like, Oh, red hair! All right, this guy is supposed to be one of the strongest beings in this show, right? Not just this show, but like anime. Because like, I always see this dude in power scaling tier list. Like, I know this dude, but I don't know him. Dragon Claw Sword! He fought a dragon? Bro, his name is Sword Saint. His epithet is Sword Saint. The soundtrack playing right now. Bro. Sword Saint? Okay, we better become friends with him. Humble guy? Very humble? Modest strength! Oh Man, we got lucky as fuck there. His entire personality was so humble. Even Sword Saint was like, nah, that's too much, man. Moderate skills. So like... Is he genuinely the nice guy, right? Usually, like, really super nice guys are trash, but this guy, I could believe it. Yeah. You know what? This is actually probably a good idea. I would be on my fucking knees licking his boots so that we can be friends with this guy. This, if he became an ally, bro. Remember, approach this like Ana Koji. Everyone is a tool, and we're trying to get some tools in our toolbox. And I think we just found an SSSSSSS rank tool right now. No! No, shut the fuck! Really? The Sword Saint would lose to three thugs on the street? No. No, I don't believe it. This guy is too humble. Is it depressing though? That a sword saint of all people will be the one coming to your rescue here? I feel like this is fucking destiny. This is like fate, man. Not only more than a guard. What else did he say? A sword that has what marks of the dragon claws implying that he fought a fucking dragon. Is he a dragon slayer? Is he literally a dragon slayer, bro? His family, huh? 
Island from the east. What does it say? At the moment, Lugunika is a bit more restless than in peacetime. So Lugunika obviously is this central city. It's not the continent. I'm not sure if it's the continent of Lugunika, but the place that we are in is Lugunika, right? It's like the capital city of whatever place this is. The politics here is restless than in peacetime. Well, is there like a succession war going? It's the country. Lugunika is the country and we are in like the capital city, right? And it sounds like some sort of like uh, political unrest, like succession wars, trying to figure out who's going to be the next ruler or something. Yes, yes. Reinhardt versus Elsa. Let's do it. Yeah, I could see Reinhardt beating Elsa. For, he's a sword saint. Elsa versus Reinhardt. Power scaling. I mean, Elsa's strong. But this guy's a sword saint. I've never seen Elsa in the power care list. I've seen Reinhardt competing with fucking Goku before. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to El I think I'm gonna go to Reinhardt. Hmm? <laughs> we don't know her name. Ginpatsuno Elsa. <laughs> What are the odds that he's gonna find her in the streets? A person he- I mean, Emilia is a pretty distinctive look. It's pretty unique to the point, I guess you don't need to know a name. Okay. Will he? Alright, that's a promise. Bye-bye. Mm. You see that little shift in gesture of his face? What's he thinking? Well, I think that the entire conversation there from him was very polite and nice to make Subaru talk very comfortably. But as he said, this is a stranger dude. A random person has shown up in this kingdom during political unrest. Maybe there's some dots being connected in his mind of like, is this the guy that we're looking for? I'm not sure what's going on, but there is definitely a distinctive look where Reinhardt realizes Subaru, this ain't no normal kid. He's definitely different. Oh, it's the same guy again. Live strong, Kyodai. Felt then. Oh, it's her! It's her! It's her! Oh, oh. <gasps> Are you sure it's a good idea to cover your stomach like that? He instinctively grabbed his stomach, because obviously that's where we got cut off, right? But like, if she saw that... Like, how would you know? Because like, because like, is she making the connections in her head that like, Huh, you're instinctively guarding against your stomach, the, pl the place that I sliced you in the last timeline iteration, but I obviously, she doesn't remember that. Wonder what she's thinking, like, huh, this kid already guarded there? You already know me? <laughs> The soundtrack is so intense, dude. The heartbeats, bro. Yeah. I am scared. The soundtrack's so creepy, dude. Oh! There was no milk there, but... Of all the girls in Reed's here so far, I think Elsa's still the best. I'm sorry. The pure fan service is unreal. Bye. Oh, he's talking back? She held his hand. Or the gut injury happened before. Dude, he actually talked back. That's pretty impressive. That's the thing about Subaru. He is actually pretty impressive in the confidence that he has. And I think, again, it derives from what is it? The pride, right? He's a prideful character. He talks back and even says something like, if you're too scary, that beauty will go to waste. Like, that's a fucking Ikemen line. Elsa immediately closed the distance saying, that's pretty good. I'm coaching you right now on how to be better. Conceal the hostility, I'll be even better. We should learn from this. We should learn from this right now. And that hand holding there, bro, as if she's fucking teasing us that like, I'm gonna slice your belly up again. Probably, yeah. And when we do, she'll know. Bye. Scary girl, dude. The soundtrack definitely doesn't help either. <laughs> Felt does, right? This is her den? <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing at a homeless girl, bro. 
Is she just living out in the fucking tent out here? This is this they fucking living out here, Rev. Live strong, Kyodai. Live strong. I mean, Subaru is homeless too. No, 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 no. Subaru is homeless, bro. He he ain't got no place to live right now. He's just walking around. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Are we gonna die? Are we gonna die? It's pretty impressive. This is pretty impressive from like a random neat, right? Like he's very agile. The entire sequence of events through him dodging. Isn't that pretty impressive for a random dude that just got summoned here? I don't think working out your fucking grip strength like this, bro, is going to give you the reaction speed and the hand-eye coordination to dodge this without real combat fucking experience. Guys, come on. Are you really gonna fucking use this a 70 kilogram grip example with this what we're seeing right now? Come on, guys. There goes our house. No! No! Wait, does this count as Subaru getting in felt bed right now? Right? This is her blankets. It's her pillow. He's in her bed right now. Uh, I got a media. Fair. I guess so, yeah. That did happen. Nokia flip phone. Picture time. Whoa. Scammer. How long does the battery last in this? Unfortunately, they're ignorant and don't know shit, so we can scam them. Yeah. <laughs> Riz? I don't know, I guess so. Honestly, anime, character, makeup, every girl always has makeup on. It's so funny when they say I have no makeup and no makeup. It's just like a little bit shading of their lips being like less red or some shit. Let's go talk to Romji then. That's pretty good. I don't know how he just did it there after almost getting killed by that lolly with the knife, but he defused the situation and he yapped his way out of it. Let's go, Subaru. That place, bro. That, that's gotta be the mansion in the endings, right? That's gotta be the mansion in ending two where Amelia had this like day in the day life where she's just like washing her face and hanging out in the garden or some shit, right? I mean, it's, it's gotta be. Where else is she gonna fucking stay? It can't be some random fucking house. You stinky? It's like the slum saying, right? Yep. <laughs> no. I ain't those broke-ass homeless motherfuckers. No, they trash. What are you then, Felt? Damn. I'm gonna assume she goes off the mentality of survival of the fittest, to live strong, even though they're all kind of struggling, you gotta kind of like prove to yourself your worth, you know? Put some fucking hustle in and be strong and survive. Okay. Based? Like her family. She is super soon soon, huh? A head pat will always counter the soon lolly, man. It'll always fucking work. Also, does this count as us cheating against Amelia right now? Because like this this area is the place where Amelia used her lesser spirit time. Remember that moment when felt you know uh sorry, Puck said nine to five, right? So like be like, we're just doing this shit instead of Amelia right now. Okay. She actually bit. She actually fucking bit there. Hope she doesn't have fucking rabies. I mean, a child like that that had to survive by herself the entire time. Of course, she's gonna act like that, right? She's gotta be strong and 
dutiful and independent. And if someone shows up trying to, you know, coddle her, she's going to be like, what the fuck? This is kind of weird. Makes sense. Holy shit, it's so small for him. Sure. Minimum 20 holy. No, 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 20. Man. But like... Won't she wait for Elsa regardless, potentially, because she's... Because that, that's what happened last time, too, right? We waited. Like, we need to fucking get this... We need to get the insignia and run. How is Elsa still not here? Where did Elsa go first? Because, like, we encountered her, and I thought she was already on her way to the shack. But then we did a detour and talked to Felt and fucked around, and now we're here, and Elsa's still not here. Because there's a time of when they were supposed to meet, and it's not that time yet, and Elsa's waiting. I don't fucking know. Because uh if we don't, then we're all gonna die. We're all gonna fucking die right now if you don't take this media. Are you sure you wanna do this, Felt? So I guess, like, he can't. I mean, he could metagame. Listen, I. I'm an isekai character, meaning I have a super power returned by death. And I've died before, you guys have all died. Right now, big booba girl's gonna show up and slice up up if this doesn't work. Yep, we gotta go out right now. And they'll be like, you crazy as fuck, I ain't listening to you. Who would listen to him? Who would actually listen to him? You would have to be insane to listen to some random dude that showed up in a fucking full-on tracksuit. Talk this shit. And be like, you really want me to listen? No, it would not work. No, unless they super trust him. Like, unless we've established that relation, random people are gonna think we're fucking crazy and tell us to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh no, it's countering. Smart girl. <laughs> nah, Fel, he's trying to scam me right now. Nah, wait for Elsa. Nah, nah, nah. He's trying to scam you so quick. That Nokia battery, it's about to die in, in the next day or something. Nah, you stay here, Fel. Stick to your guns. <laughs> Scammer. Oh, almost said Elsa there. I mean... If he announced to her that I know Elsa and she's gonna kill us, that's at least one more evidence that we're not crazy, because how would you know Elsa if not? I don't know, but he almost slipped up there. It's looking bad for us, man. Looking so bad. <laughs> we're cooked. <laughs> What if Felt just kills him right now? Like last episode, he said this shit and turning point happened. Right? And Felt, and then suddenly, soundtrack changes. <laughs> Romji gets the fucking bat out. <laughs> Romji and Felt just fuck him up and kills him. <laughs> and he realizes, okay, I can't say that anymore. I gotta stop fucking saying that. He's being sincere. Is this a ruined run, man? Oh! No! Don't open the door! No! Dude, this soundtrack is crazy. The children choir, dude. The children choir is so crazy, dude. Gives me fucking shivers. Don't do it. Don't open the door. No! Don't open the door. It's the Appa guy! Appa guy's gonna show up right now! <laughs> Baited. Okay, bait all. <laughs> How does she know? Maybe she talked to Appa guy, and Appa guy said, go here. I don't know. No, no! We told Reinhardt met Amelia? Because, like, the promise was. I forget the exact message he told to relate to Amelia, but it wasn't. I'll get the insignia back to you or some shit. Anyways, Amelia's here. Let's go. Yo. Is this the ending? I have... I, we already... I don't remember this ending. What the fuck is this ending right now playing? Is this a special ending? It's a piano intro? Wait, 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 wait. But, but she's not the Witch of Envy. She's Amelia, not Satala. But why the fuck, as soon as we reunite with Amelia right now, it's this reunion with the witch. Because Amelia is a witch, but she doesn't know it. 
Why do Satala and Emila look so similar? Uh, this is a fucking sus ass title though. Reunion with the witch? Which of these nuts? That's another episode of ReZero, and this one was... I guess definitely a lot slower. So what was what was happening today? Well, we met a new friend. We met a new friend named Reinhardt, and Mr. Reinhardt is a goddamn sword saint. I don't know exactly what that entails, but the fact that his sword also somehow with dragon claws marks, like, I'm gonna just assume, bro slayed a fucking dragon and then earned the title Dragon Slayer. No, it fucking, uh, Sword Saint. He says something about his family lineage too, about living up to the expectations, but I can't tell if he is, like, being so humble and saying that, because you could tell his personality the entire time, saying like, oh, we only, he only, they only, the bandits got away because it was, you know, 3v2. If there was only me here, that would have never happened. It's just like, nah, bro, you're fucking lying. Why is it being so benevolent and humble? Just because it's personality, but also trying to open up Subaru and trying to get more information? Because obviously at the end there, after we talked about how a stranger being here is a very interesting thing, because these are very interesting political times in Lugunica. There's some political unrest, and Reinhardt seems a little sus, but at the very least, you know, he took our message, and he may have even related it on. Felt? Got a little bit more characterizing from Felt. She's just a strong girl trying to survive, get out of the slums, looks down on the other people here because they're not really trying to survive like her and just cowering in fear. Elsa? Sexy as all hell as usual. I don't want Elsa to die. I hope she's not a... No, no, no! Uh, this is a bit of a spoiler, but I'm totally fine with these kind of spoilers. Because I saw Elsa in the future openings in Season 2 as well, it already proves that she's not gonna just die here, so I'm like... <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Whatever happens next couple episodes, <laughs> she's gonna get away. It's fine. We're safe. Our wife will is safe. I should not be so damn bad for Elsa. It's just her design. Her design is just insane, man. It's just pure fan service. But she's so dangerous and sexy and scary. It's just like I'm so confused. Is she a yandere? Is is that a yandere? She doesn't love us. She loves our guts. But it's like that feeling of. Scary mixing with horny, man. And we're negotiating, but it's not really going well because no one's going to believe us. And there's no real good way to explain how we know the future events because they're just going to call us fucking crazy. But hey, we got baited and Amelia showed up and hey, maybe, maybe this time it's a good run. And I would hate to ruin this run because we befriended Reinhardt, but hey, only one way to find out. And that's it from me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.